Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're going to be going over the new Prime, Neku, and Joshua banner that we just got today in the shop. Now, in case you didn't know, this is the metal right here, and this is its ability. It is a speed upright metal tier 5 that ignores the target's attributes and for one turn raises the upright strength by three tiers and raises your guilt bonus by 120%. At the 7 star version, is AoE, costs 4 gauges, and has a 25.05 multiplier. Now, in case you didn't know, or didn't realize this is quite literally just a speed version of the prime halloween sora medal that we just got like last week and aside from that the only other main difference between this medal and prime halloween sora is the fact that prime neku and joshua actually can provide 120 points if it has no traits and it will provide 144 points if it does have some traits so for a lot of people, this medal is basically a very easy early access way to get the new uh, pet rank 11, or as a lot of you might know, the combo 1 pet skill ability. Now personally for me, I already have the combo 1 pet skill ability, and I can tell you guys right now that the combo 1 ability is, is not really nearly as OP as I thought it was going to be um, before I went ahead and got it. Uh, it was most likely just not a obvious realization on my part, uh, but upon using the combo one ability myself, especially within PvP, which I know is a uh, on a lot of people's mind as to whether where they're going to try using the combo one ability, as it shows right here on the screen, just to give you guys some context, uh, it deals damage equal to 40% of the player's attack and has a 25% trigger rate when the player attacks, ignoring the spirit slot, and it, does, it has about 6 charges per battle. So, essentially, for every metal that you cast, that you swipe, okay, whether or not it has extra attack or not, this skill has 25% chance to trigger. And it's basically the same exact thing as having extra attack on one of your metals. Now, the issue with combo one that I've been seeing already, even for me, is the fact that, at least from what I had seen, before I got combo one, I kind of assumed that the players who did have it were doing most of their damage from the combo one ability, or a good chunk of it, like at least um, a good third of their <laughs> damage was coming from combo one. And from after using it myself, it's actually not the case at all whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it does come into play and it does help when it does. Uh, but from what I have been seeing myself, at the very least within PvP, even across all three Keyblades <laughs> that I use, the combo 1 ability doesn't actually trigger that often, uh, which makes sense that it only has a 25% trigger rate. Most of my damage doesn't come from combo 1 at all, uh, it's just my normal metals. Uh, and combo 1 only actually helps out a little bit compared to how much I thought I was going to be doing. So, essentially what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that combo 1 ability is actually not nearly as OP or broken as I thought it was going to be. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of the fact that obviously the new Neku and Joshua medal again give you early access to it. So in terms of whether or not you should pull for Prime Neku and Joshua, uh, my advice is pretty much going to be the exact same thing as it was for the Prime Halloween Sora medal that we had last week, which is that the medal is great for any beginners out there who don't have the best of uh, raid boss setups. Even if you're an intermediate player and you don't have the greatest amount of medals or even just setups in general for raiding, uh, this is a fantastic medal uh, that can serve against any raid bot just because of the fact that it ignores the attributes type aspect and it's AoE. I provided some examples in my Prime Halloween uh, Sora video, so if you want a little bit more in-depth aspect about that, go ahead and check that video out. But other than that, I don't believe this medal is actually worth uh, spending your jewels on purely for the sake of pit rank 11 uh, and this is speaking both from a personal experience 
on top of the fact just simply from a jewel experience as well. Personally, I wasn't expecting to actually go and chase for the pet rank 11, but because of the fact that I just simply haven't pulled from the banner in a very long time, I was like, you know what, why not? I'll accept the risks and I was going to pull anyway. Uh, and that's pretty much the only reason why I'm at like 4,000 jewels right now. Otherwise, normally, I probably wouldn't have pulled from this medal at all, even though uh, I only needed like two 144 medals left until I got pet rank 11. Just because of the fact that we have no idea what's coming out next. For all we know, it could be another supernova medal. Uh, it could be something broken. But for any of you guys who already have a decent raid boss setup or just don't do raiding in general so you could care less, you're much better off just saving onto your jewels. Don't worry about the pet rank 11 and just wait for something else to come along of better value. If you really want to, you can pull once just for collection purposes. <laughs> but that's probably the most I would recommend. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about the medal and this banner in the comment section down below, especially with any of your guys' experience with pet rank 11 yourself, if you happen to have the ability. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload a video such as this one. My name is Brian from Kinemite Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.